Welcome to game two between I Love XTO and Bon Bon. Upper right corner we have I Love XTO as the yellow Protoss. Bottom right corner we have Bon Bon as the pink Protoss. This is on butter. And thus far what we've seen out of XTO time and time again is him taking very calculated risks. And in my opinion, sometimes overextensions. But he seems to thrive in chaos. Creates a bit of chaos on the map and then just has better responses than his opponent. Hallucinated Kakuru blessing Bon Bon's base, so this might be his victory in round two. We'll see. I will say that on Butter, I don't know if it's just become the standard Protoss meta, but we've seen it time and time again. At least this is going to be the third time I'm seeing it. Proxy Gateway against... A Terran opponent on the low ground outside the natural. And I'm wondering who started this meta and why it's become such a thing. Maybe it's just because it's, hey, you can get away with it. I mean, for a long time, this was very popular on Eclipse and then fell out of fashion. And I think it was also popular on Neo Sylphid for whatever reason, my brain recalls. But no, I take it back. Pylon dropped. Gateway in the middle, the probe just being sent up for early scout, but gonna get a gas steal. Which is actually a pretty significant win on a two-player map like this. The probe is gonna be locked in, however. You're locked in here with me. As the barracks is going to... So, Zealot's Dragoon's not gonna be able to sail the front, but this is gonna slow down that follow-up factory. And on top of that, that's going to keep XTO honest. And I kind of like the gas steal on this map in particular being a two-player map. Because sometimes Terran's response to this is like, oh yeah, I'll just go ahead and grab that natural. But I think with Butter's architecture and rush distances, you can go ahead and disrupt that a little bit with early troops. Assimilator plopping down. Now possibly what Bonbon's bon's going to do, if he goes for quick range, looks like he's skipping Zealot getting that cybernetic score first. Might want to apply pressure to that natural expansion as quickly as possible. Bonbon... Bon Providing a lot of harassment, doing a lot of damage on that SCV, trying to build that barracks. The barracks does finish. <clears throat> but that probe that probe is on the hunt. Maybe he wants a kill here. SCV scooching down. Taking kind of an odd path to do so. Several I think that's one more SCV than usually recommended, but XTO, yeah, being aggressive, the probe. Need to be careful there, SCV. You're pretty damaged. Marine going ahead and wandering out to go ahead and clear that annoying probe out of here. But XTO in a rush to get that gas down and pulling a lot of SCVs. Oftentimes you'll just see three in the Marine, but this was five SCVs going ahead and trying to clear that gas. So really wanted that gas up and running. Probe's still running around with his cherished gas. And by the way, tip here, the units explode. When, so we get to see the glorious, you see the glorious explosion there? Whenever they're holding some Vesping gas. It's a dangerous job being a worker. Range upgrading before... I think that might have been a, a quick range. Dragoon moving its way out. Actually, I take that back. SCV pocketing along that edge. To get a delayed scout. Command center being built interior to the base. A bunker in construction, but the Dragoons are on the way. Second gateway, and I like this pressure from Bonbon. Bon, especially after that gas deal. Really going to make it difficult and keep... More critically, it's going to keep XTO honest in the early game. Two Marines inside that bunker, but that's also going to have the additional economic cost of an SCV is going to need to pin here and play repair. Got to wait a moment, though, for that range to finish. But at least is, well, SCV able to try to sneak through. I'm like, where's that attack happening? SCV sneaking through into the main, able to confirm two gateway And three pylons, so at least he knows there's no proxy tech incoming. Command center being built. XTO getting his first factory down as well. So at least right now, Bon Bon doesn't have full eyes and advantage. No, that necessarily a natural expansion, but he's got he's to gotta believe that's what he's up against. Two factories to follow this up. Engineering bay being built as well. Just to respect potential DT. Range finishing, and there's going to be three Dragoons. Out on the front in a hurry. And actually with this barrack placement, that's going to be one less 
bit of surface area to repair that bunker. SCV is a little bit lackadaisical. Not a lot of SCVs in position to help repair. Dragoon taking a little bit of free damage there, but okay, now two SCVs there, but the third Dragoon joining. Not targeting the bunker, though. It looks like they're going to go ahead and focus fire that barracks down. As it's out in the front, that's forcing a lift off. And it's going to go ahead and back out. And now the Dragoon's just going to go ahead and make a break for it. SCV's pinning them to the wall, though. And the Dragoon, two Dragoons at least, able to make their way in. One of them backing out, losing its life. The second one backing out, but at least two Dragoons forcing SCVs off the line. And there's no defense troops otherwise. So early economic harassment here for Bonbon. Bon, and Bonbon bon now being the aggressor. And really giving XTO a run for his money. Second machine shop being dropped. So he's able to confirm double machine shop and double factory as well. And the SCV's still not able to deal with these Dragoons. Natural expansion, as you can see on the minimap, being built there for Bonbon. Bon. More SCVs pulling off the line, just trying to finally get these Dragoons out of here. But wow, the worker count being dropped to 23 and counting. Siege tech being researched there. Finally, a first siege tank out. But the Dragoons, they're hunting for blood here. Still want to get additional kills, able to get yet another SCV. And drawing one remaining... Is he going to get it? And... No, not quite. Close. One hit point left. Three more Dragoons pressing out towards the front and Engineering Bay at the 3 o'clock gap. And with all of that economic harassment, Nexus is plopping down at the 6. Two siege tanks, however, on the front. Three Marines in the bunker. XTO on the defense. Should be able to hold up. Siege tank is going to finish. And there's going to be a lot of... Siege tanks out, actually. Two additional gateways plopping down. Now, Bonbon, if he attacks on those additional gateways, should be able to play Gateway Man. Dragoon's taking a slew of fire, though. Fanning out a little bit to absorb potential vultures that would maybe follow this up. Bonbon does, does need to be wary, though, because we've seen XTO be a player who, in certain situations, will try to sneak a command center in this situation, will maybe even go and try to pull the trigger and go for a quick attack to just end it. Seize Shanks continuing to press forward, able to get two more Dragoon kills. Probes being transferred to the 6 o'clock base. And yeah, like as as I was saying, XTO now going for the attack with his four Seize Shanks upon realizing he's got a lot of Dragoon kills. And so yeah, a lot, a lot of S... He lost a lot of SCVs, but got a lot of kills otherwise. So now with his two factories, he's going to press into this. And does Bonbon bon have enough to defend? I see four Dragoons out, period. Five gateways out. They need to get producing and in a hurry. XTO looking to maybe counterattack, get some damage. Marines and Vultures sweeping out. Probes pulling off the line preemptively. Able to get there as the tanks are sieging. One siege tank down. Second siege tank taken out. So... Probe losses for Bonbon, bon, but able to at least crush this attack rapidly. Nice defense from Bonbon. Bon. Wow. However, between all of the losses, maybe some ma micro mishaps, he's actually behind the overall worker count. He does have three Nexus to work with, but with that, XTO just going ahead and grabbing a quick additional base, a Vulture also sneaking in. This is actually the opposite situation. We'll see if Bonbon bon turns around. That army was wiped out. There's no defenses. XTO taking a third with only vultures to defend. But as we've seen in previous matches, Bonbon bon a little bit less aggressive than XTO in these scenarios. So I think XTO is going to be able to go ahead and get away with grabbing this third base with just not a lot of latent defense. Three Dragoons at home base. And some cannons here to the bottom left. And he could, yeah, go up and maybe take that Nexus out. <clears throat> so I love XTO with these, yeah, just playing aggressively, taking the risks in a tournament situation to put himself in winning positions. Right now with the worker lead is going to end up in the economic lead if he can get that third base up and running. Fourth factory coming online for him. Observer starting to sweep out to get eyes. So five gateways up. A shuttle is in production. Dragoons are starting to sweep out and do some mine clearage, having some trouble 
with that misfire rate up the high ground. I, you know what? I swear there's something about mines being up on high ground. Something about mines in particular being up on high ground where it just seems to trigger that misfire rate more than anything. Is it because they're small units and there's some additional... It feels like there's something underneath the Brood War code where it's like, you know what? Mines. Mines are going to be hard to hit. Maybe it's just there's more, there tends to be more of them on the map, so it's just more noticeable. Anyway. Third base up and running. SCVs transfer, uh, transferring to that location. Shuttle with four Zealots. Dragoon losing its life to go ahead and do a mine clear right there. Oh, another big shot on the Dragoons to the north. That's giving Bon Bon second thoughts as far as pressing into this. Is he still going to go for the Zealot Bomb here? Dropping right there. He had Zealot Bombing. On the low ground, Dragoon's starting to press up to the midpoint defense. This is only four siege tanks. But Bon Bon not fielding a large enough army to really counter it. Wandering up, finding that third base in production. It's just going to drop those Zealots off into the lines. Vultures very rapidly on the defense. And the Zealot not even getting a single attack off. So XTO slowly, right under Bon Bon's nose, establishing that defense line. He's got six factories up and running behind this with two machine shops. Plus one weapons rolling. Stargate already coming online. For Bonbon bon, though, off three bases. It looks like he wants to go ahead and cap a fourth base potentially. At the eight o'clock location. Vulture is able to sneak around the Dragoon lines. Let's see if they're able to... There's a decent pylon wall everywhere, but it looks like they want to go just turn around and assail that... Dragoon army. Plopping mines as they're able. Observer sneaking forward. It looks like a counterattack moving in to sandwich these Dragoons in. XTO able to get a handful of Dragoon kills and shred some shields otherwise. So six Dragoons now going to back out. And the Siege Shanks piling down. Comset from XTO. This might be his target base. Let's see if he wanders down and discovers this 8 o'clock base as well. High ground advantage, another grouping of Dragoons pressing in to go ahead and go for a pincer attack on these siege tanks. So Dragoons from the north and from the south walking up the ramp. Going to be able to clear this army up. The SCV trying to desperately repair, but that is not going to be sufficient. So XTO, again with the overextension being overly aggressive, losing a siege tank line. That's 20 supply lead now for Bon Bon and buying him some time to go ahead and go for a tech switch. He's going to go for the fleet beacon again. So wants to go for carrier play. Vultures trying to re-establish that high ground. XTO grabbing his fourth base. Bon Bon still ahead of it as his fourth base is coming online. But really XTO just, yeah, he takes these bases with not a lot of defense. This is six vultures. Fortunately for him, Bon Bon... Yeah, finally moving that Observer across, taking some mine fire he didn't need to, but this isn't sufficient to Vultures to defend this. So now moving completely out of position with the rest of those Siege Tanks. To go ahead and sweep around this Dragoon army, XTO has to engage this. The Vultures trying to do what they can. Great pin in and mines everywhere. And that is going to cause Bon Bon to retreat. Which is unfortunate. That is a sl This almost looks like a Zerg defense. Sliver of a defense right there. A lot of troops waiting on the exterior. Near that natural on the defense. I guess Bon Bon is content though th with that threat as those carriers are starting to filter out on the map. Eight gateways up. No Goliath in production. It looks like Charon Booster is being upgraded in anticipation of carriers. Plus one armor. Whoop. Being upgraded. I believe there is a second armory somewhere around here. It's sometimes hard to find. In Terran bases. Let's see if I can find it for you. There it is. No, that was the first one. Where's the second one? Is it just one armory? I can't imagine it's just one armory. There's got to be a second armory out here somewhere, folks. <laughs> Maybe it's just one armory, though. Vultures and siege tanks sweeping in to the 9 o'clock location. Dragoon's there to potentially stymie that, but now XTO, actually. So he's down on the upgrades. The carriers are going to be out shortly. But as far as, like, raw map control, XTO is holding that 9 o'clock. Well, never mind. Take it back. The Zealot's able to sweep down rapidly and clear things out. And XTO, yeah, with overly aggressive troop movements, 
Not able to establish battle lines to really hold anything. So Bonbon bon now with a big lead in supply. Carrier is shortly to be out, and I don't see much of a defense at all for XTO. XTO is playing it thin. So Bonbon bon in a strong position here in the mid game, and threatening a lot of expansions with an attack force. Is he going to wait for the carriers, or is he just going to go? It looks like he's just going to go. That shuttle taking damage, the tank sieging up, and able to unload at least two zealots. As the Dragoon's trying to press in. And it looks like the siege tanks are going to get taken out. There's not much of an attack force left, but this is on top of an undefended expansion. So three Dragoons and a Zealot here might be able to get some SCV kills and some disruption otherwise. And if nothing else, this is buying time for that carrier fleet to grow. SCV's now pulling off mining to try to defend. Reinforcements trying to come from both directions. Stream of reinforcements. It looks like maybe they're just going to sideline and go for this base. The Dragoons getting cleaned up. Siege tanks bullying their way in. But yeah, the Zealots. One being split off to go ahead and mine clear. And they're going to go ahead and clear out XTO's fourth base. Some Zealots sweeping around. They're going to get quickly intercepted. Not before taking out a siege tank though. So now... As the main is starting to mine out, Bonbon bon is running on three bases compared to the two bases of XTO. What's well, soon, soon to be the two bases of XTO. Able to force a lift off of the command center in that upper left hand corner. He's also got five carriers out shortly, a 60 supply lead in a very strong position. XTO has really been playing this on a razor's edge as far as defenses. Right now, Bonbon bon can just expand everywhere, and it looks like that is what he's doing. He's grabbing that 9 o'clock. XTO responding to, so recognizing the carrier potential and getting Wraith out and Cloak. Maybe that is why we did not have the, so there's the second armory. Finally spotting it. Let's see if that goes into air weapons, though. Plus one weapons, plus one armor on the ground at the very least. But a clever play from XTO wants to get Wraith. There is no observer support currently with this carrier army. There is an observer nearby, but that one quick pickoff in a Wraith can obliterate a lot of minerals. That could be comeback potential for XTO. XTO currently staging up. If he can force this attack force out, maybe he can go ahead and reestablish a fourth. Right now, the carriers have been spotted by that engineering bay. Across that right-hand edge, XTO moving out. preemptively. Single turret actually able to get some damage on that observer. We'll try to keep an eye on the battle that might ensue across that right-hand edge. And the Wraith have now been spotted. Cloaking up. No observer here. One carrier down. Two carrier down. And Bonbon, bon, yeah, taking a big economic loss here. Still going to have a sizable lead, but x with the small victories. And Siege Tanks moving in to the 9 o'clock base. So XTO, with two big wins here, able to take out an expansion. Bonbon bon going to try to expand to that 3 o'clock base in response. But that was a slew of victories there in a rapid success succession for XTO. Let's see if the Command Center is going to be able to establish. There are a lot of Dragoons and Zealots on the high ground to maybe... Take out what's left of XTO's army. Still a big supply lead for Bonbon. Bon. Single Siege Tank being caught out. So Bonbon bon making a fight of it. Siege Tank's trying to mirror the movements of the Dragoon Zealot army. And establish a Siege Tank wall. It looks like they're perfectly maneuvering to do so. So Bonbon's bon Zealots getting wiped out. So despite having the supply lead, Bonbon bon not able to deal with I Love XTO's troop movements. Fourth base is up. He is mining off three, but XTO has relanded that upper left hand corner to stay in this match. Supply counts are even. And XTO lo with level two weapons, level one armor, has level one shield coming online. Unusual upgrade. Four machine shops down, which means there's going to be a lot of siege tanks. And level two armor, not that far from finishing. 
The Wraith sneaking forward, looking to harass this bottom right-hand base, but cannons are up. That is going to push them back. A few more carriers taking the field. Need to hide along cannons. The Wraith looking to hunt to pick these big beefy units off. It looks like he's going to be able to at least catch a carrier. In open field. Another carrier exposed and wiped out. More marine... Wow, that is a lot of carriers lost to this Wraith force. Bon Bon now sweeping out. Thing is, is when you're building Wraith, that is fewer siege tanks that you're going to have out because they are gas expensive. Bon Bon retaking this base. A Zealot and Dragoon attack force sweeping in while those Wraith are distracted. Pylon unpowering at least a Stargate. And the Zealots, are they going to take that command center out? At least forcing some troops to that upper left-hand base. SCVs pulling off to group repair. The Wraith still in this bottom right-hand base. Maybe running out of cloak at this stage. Currently, yeah, a little bit low on energy. So they might want to exit for the time being. All of the Dragoons piling into that bottom right-hand corner. The Vultures with those Dragoons trying to deal with those Wraith. Going to sneak into that 9 o'clock location. This is a chaotic match. What a series this is turning into. The Wraith finally getting cleaned up as they're pinned between that cannon wall and the Dragoons. Four remaining. They're going to exit out. Looks like another three going to be tacked onto that, arm uh, that army. Level three weapons, level three armor upgrades on the way. Observer being wiped out as it was trying to get back to the rest of the attack force was going to be necessary again to deal with those Wraith. So now Bon Bon, he has four mining bases compared to the three, I take it back, two of XTO. XTO going ahead and grabbing the high ground plateau outside of his base. Has done a fantastic job defending everything thus far. Both players near 200-200. Sizable upgrades for XTO. Not a lot of Goliath... And as I say that, a couple Goliath, a handful of Goliaths starting to make their way out. Not a lot of Goliath on the ground, but I don't know that that's been needed. Bon Bon staging the troops. Needs to attack where Exio isn't. Right at this stage. But from the high ground, dropping to the low ground, finding tanks unseaged. Tanks sieging up and pressing that Dragoon army back. Exio with this might be able to press into that 3 o'clock location and wipe out a base. So pressing down, also was able to force a cancellation there. I'm not sure if that was a cancellation on Bon Bon's part or a force cancellation on XTO's part. In the midst of all this chaos, I actually wouldn't be shocked if Bon Bon canceled just as realizing he wasn't going to be able to defend all of this territory. Because of the early grab, these three bases are mined out. So basically we've got two bases in this base coming online. XTO still mining here in the upper left. He's looking thin as well, so he needs to hold this base. So it's going to be a challenging defense at two locations. And we're turning into another base race situation where XTO is pressing to the natural expansion and Bon Bon with his army attacking upper left, taking out a critical mining base for XTO. So siege tanks pressing into the natural. Three carriers are here. Not a lot of Goliaths, though, to support this attack force. And I don't know where the Wraith are out in this field right this moment. Siege tanks backing out and sweeping across. This base has been wiped out by Bon Bon. Siege tanks and vultures clearing out. They're going to be able to get the Templar Arc guys. It looks like forges in that bottom left-hand corner as well. The Dragoons pausing shortly, but sweeping out. There's no minerals here. This actually, I don't want to say this is a benefit to XTO because it's not, but this does mean he only needs to concentrate on defenses on that last mining base. While he's sweeping across, and Bon Bon's got a lot of territory to cover to sweep his way across the map. And XTO spreading out absolutely everywhere behind this. Looks like he's leaving two siege tanks here to go ahead and clear this. The carriers having their work cut out for them. Six carriers trying to deal with a slew of siege tanks everywhere. It looks like they're going to beeline for the siege tanks that are sailing the freshest base. Vulture sweeping across... Looks like they're able to sweep through that gap to go ahead and clear that location. Those siege tanks are going to be cleared out. The Dragoons making their way back across. They don't want to sweep across the siege tank army in mid-ground. Bon Bon looks like he's falling behind 
in the overall supply count as things remain. The carriers trying to defend this 9 o'clock base. The vultures p poking away at this. The siege tanks have been able to wipe. Just x has been fantastic at just being everywhere at once. Nexus stands. No probes left. As things are left, it looks like two Nexus, three Nexus were wiped out. One is under is in the red, under threat. That 3 o'clock base is up and running. But only 29 probes left for Bonbon. Bon. However, XTO down to just a single mining base. A huge swooping... Wow, a swoop? Is that a group of Wraith? It is now. A swoop of Wraith are out there to potentially hunt down the carriers. They're going to dive in. Okay, go ahead and defend with your carriers. I'm just going to go ahead and cloak up before these cannons come online. Nexus down. Sea Shanks taking cannon fire, but discovering this 3 o'clock base. They're going to go ahead and turn around and re-siege. I don't know how long that's going to last. The race sweeping back to go ahead and maybe pick off these carriers. Carriers versus Wraith, it looks like, in the late game now. XTO really hurting for resources. Bonbon bon able to defend that 3 o'clock base. Bonbon bon down on resources, but has critical carriers, and those carriers are pushing in to the one last mining base of XTO. Wraith cloaking. There are at least three, two observers alongside. Never mind. Quickly taken out. And now that carrier fleet completely exposed to the Wraith. They're going to pull back to the cannon lines. Dragoon. Few Dragoons to support underneath. So XTO defending. A fierce fight now. Between the two bases. Siege tanks pressing forward. I feel like XTO might be overextending here. As those carriers do have that defensive wall. The Wraith now. Trying to single fire target those carriers down. Before they're able to chew through those siege tanks. Doing a great job. Of doing so, some of the Wraith being targeted finally. That Wraith Force, that Wraith Force now being wiped out. Four siege tanks remain. The siege tanks now being obliterated, and the carrier fleet still there to go up and assail XTO's last mining base. That might be the moment that is going to give Bonbon bon the overall advantage and potential victory. But we have more Goliaths now sweeping in to try to engage, take out, threaten this base, and wipe out what's left. 14 supply lead for XTO, but that's mostly in workers. The carriers sweeping in. Command center in the red. One more group of focus fire. It's wiped out. XTO is no longer mining. The siege tanks pushing into the 3 o'clock. Going to go ahead and wipe that base out. Some distance mining happening as the probes a little bit on off position. Where are they going? They're going, looks like, to join the fight. And that's that could be a costly mistake for Bonbon because bon, he doesn't have a lot of workers to spare. The carriers pressing in, wiping out. The armories, making sure there's not going to be a lot of anti-air... Well, he's got one armory down, doesn't have the second armory down just as of yet. But working on the anti-air of XTO so that those carriers can reign supreme. Vulture is able to sneak in to that 3 o'clock location, wipe out probes there. Looks like that pylon was taken out, so those cannons are unpowered. Dragoons going in to go ahead and defend. The last bit of air production taken out. The armory still stands, however, so that means Goliath still are going to be able to be produced by XTO, and he does have some resources latently out there. SCV's huddled in the upper left-hand base, maybe to try to build an expansion somewhere where there's not action on the field. Goliath wandering out. If the Goliath can get on top of the carriers, might be enough to go ahead and seal the game for XTO. 15 probes left for Bonbon, bon, doing a little bit of de desperation mining at the opposite corners of the map. Carriers pressing in. Goliath on both sides. One carrier down. Two carriers down. Four remaining. Trying to attack what they can as they're exiting that breach. The Goliaths doing their best with the terrain to focus fire those Goliaths. Distance mining from XTO on that high ground plateau expansion. No follow-up reinforcements, it looks like, to go ahead and engage. So both players pulling out, licking their wounds, and they are battered on both sides. Command center floating out, wants to go ahead and try to make it to that upper left-hand base. Distance mining happening. The minerals just trickling in. A single armory left to allow more Goliaths to be produced. A Dark Templar now with this attack force. So Bonbon, bon, despite what the supply counts look like, does have the army lead. Because 41 workers are out there for XDO. I guess you could... I mean, SCVs are kind of beefy, though, so maybe you want to con consider them as part of that army count. Vulture pocketing in to be annoying to wipe out a 
what is already a small probe count. Bonbon bon sweeping out. The command center wants to land in this upper left-hand corner, but it's going to have to deal with an attack force that's moving this direction rapidly. Both players need to get favorable trades. Goliath Seedshank pressing that army back to that high ground. The Dark Templar making its way across. Comsat immediately wiping it out. Good eyes on XDO's part. The carriers trying to focus fire that command center. The Goliaths, however, in hot pursuit. Supply count very, very close. XDO doing much better mining, though, with the distance mining. Here, it just has a superior amount of workers. So despite the distance, getting more minerals in more rapidly. The Goliath force, though, f five remaining versus the two carriers. Not a lot else. It looks like them, some siege tanks there in between. For Bonbon, Bonbon bon bon finally able to take out that vulture that was taking out a considerable amount of probes at that location. More carriers being added to the fleet. Wherever things stand, it looks like there's only going to be one carrier remaining. A Dark Templar slipping through the ranks. Plenty of comps had to deal with it. See if it gets any kills. Fextio can get that up and running. He'll be in good position. Still distance mining at that bottom right. And just by sheer virtue of being able to mine and having a superior count of workers, I think XTO is pulling ahead. You can see his bank looking a little bit larger. Supply count's just about even, which in theory puts Terran ahead. Dealing some mines. Is, oh, he needs to be very careful as he's making his way across. Observer tracking this army. Three siege tanks remaining on the defense there at the 9 o'clock base. The single carrier backing up. Kind of scattered troop movement across all locations. XTO looking to reinforce and defend the distance mining here at the 3 o'clock. An engineering bay being redropped at the 9 to go ahead and get turrets. Planted at various locations. And XTO never won to sit back and try to macro up is pressing towards the 3 o'clock base on the low ground. Going to try to force some fights. Some Dragoons have spilled across. I think the three siege tanks and the engineering bay in the way might be sufficient with reinforcements to go ahead and collapse that attack. The Nexus is very low on health. The probes immediately pulled out. And the Nexus is gone. XEO taking a big lead now. Single carrier dealing with siege tanks to the north. No anti-air in place. Dragoon sweeping on onto the low ground. A command center has managed to get online at the 3 o'clock. So we got a 9 o'clock mining base. It looks like Bon Bon trying to take a naked expansion there at the 9 o'clock as well. This is being lifted off. Turrets coming online just to explode moments later. XTO trying to reposition, maybe take out this base, although there's not a lot of minerals left. Maybe if you can sweep out and take out that 9 o'clock base, this is... Bonbon bon desperately needs to take an expansion right now to get minerals back in the bank. XTO mining away happily on the high ground plateau outside of his location. Vulture sweeping up to try to take down that Nexus before it comes online while siege tanks are assailing what few probes remain in Bonbon's fleet. Is it a probe fleet? The probes are huddling into that back corner as Sea Chinks and Goliaths press in. Bonbon bon doesn't have much of an attack force. A couple Archons now trying to be mineral efficient as he you can continuously mine gas. The Archons barreling their way in, having to clear mines as they go, though. One Sea Chink down. XTO's army holding fast but quickly getting cleared out. One carrier, two carriers wiped out. 25 kills on this carrier. Are you kidding me? And five Goliaths going to be able to sweep out what's left of the Dragoon Force. Pushing the, that carrier back, they should be able to take out that Nexus. Nine o'clock Nexus up, but there are no workers there to mine. With that, XTO is mining, and Bonbon bon is not. Bonbon bon down to 46 supply. Single Dragoon moving in in desperation, taking out another Goliath. Three Goliaths remain. Vultures sweeping up. They're going to be able to clean up that nine o'clock base. 
And with that, it looks like XTO in a very, in an insane match, going to be able to close it out. GG there from Bonbon. Bon. What an intense one. Incredible play. Well played, well played. And that is a highlight match if I've ever seen one. Great series thus far between these two guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.